Hi, I'm Jared Nelson from the Investing Channel, and welcome to The Juice. At 1.97%, the U.S. 10-year yield hit its highest levels since the pandemic started. And you've got to wonder whether this is something to worry about. Well, for a start, housing is poised to take a hit. Home mortgages are set based on the interest rate of the 10-year U.S. Treasury plus a premium. As Treasury prices increase, so do the rates for home loans. Housing inventory is already in short supply, leading to year-over-year -year price increases and in the double digits for home purchases and rent. Higher interest rates make this venture even more expensive and price some out of the market. We already face a severe shortage of starting home inventory for Millennials and Gen Z. Now, higher home loan rates mean higher monthly payments. Higher monthly payments mean those who can afford home loans will have less discretionary income, while others who qualified at lower interest rates no longer do. So let's take a look at the big picture surrounding interest rates. Under normal conditions, U.S. Treasury markets pay lower rates for short-duration debt and higher rates for long-duration debt. This creates the yield curve, which plots interest rates based on the duration or maturity of different U.S. Treasuries. Typically, we see curves like the dotted orange line that plots rates from six months ago, where the curve is steep. Today's rates are worrisome because the blue curve shows us that the difference between the 5-year and 30-year interest rates aren't that big. In fact, it's the lowest spread since early 2019. A flat curve like this implies the end of a high growth cycle that is leading to inflation and a subsequent slowdown. This makes sense since we expect the Fed to raise rates in the near future. The bottom line is this. Higher interest rates are needed to bring down inflation by cutting into demand. However, don't let the headlines fool you. Prior to the pandemic, the 10-year yield was more than 3% in 2018. If we see interest rates crest that critical threshold, that's when markets need to begin to worry. Until then, consider this a boon for banking stocks in the S&P Financials ETF XLF, which includes stocks like Citigroup, Bank of America, and American Express or the Regional Bank ETF, KRE, which includes Regions Financial, Huntington Bank, and Key Bank. But if you're looking for a home, keep an eye for rising interest rates that could cost you more per month or price you out of the market entirely. That's all we have time for today on The Juice. Click follow and subscribe to The Juice email for your daily dose of market minerals.